Well, 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 welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And you join us as we're about to have quite the showdown between Candon and his pal, well, his lover, I'm assuming, and uh, some grunts in the back. And uh, we're going to stem up. I think the biggest two we want are... Uh, Strength and alacrity, as alacrity buffs um, <clears throat> our speed. It gives, I think, it believe, I think it gives us one extra um, turn or attack per turn, uh, and then strength obviously buffs our strength. So, believe if we go into our here, can we do the old menu trick here? Alacrity. Oh, we can. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gain strength, that's pretty dang good. Um Well I part of me wants to go for the guys in the back. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna Oh a plasma grenade. I'm gonna frag the dude in the back left. Um then you guys can frag the dude both in the back right and go to town. Let's do it. Let's see how the uh, the showdown shakes out, shall we? They're all using blasters. That was three explosions simultaneously, and that was pretty awesome. He's taking quite the beating. Hey, back here did not take a ton of damage, or it's not taking enough damage for my liking. Oh, they were just harping on, uh, what's her face? The bodyguard. Oh no, mission needs to level up in case this dude's attack hits home. Let's do that, shall we? Five skill points on old mission. Um, computer use, meh. Demo, yes. Stealth, no. Awareness, yes. Security, yes. Well, I guess our only other option is computer use, so why not? Improve Scoundrel's luck, and your defense just got even higher. That scuffle wasn't that bad, actually, Will. We, we were using performance-enhancing drugs, so. Was it really a fair fight? Eh. Had us outnumbered, so. Who can really say for sure? Uh, they had some pretty decent stuff on them, though. A uh, minor frag mine. Well, it just so happens that we have a minor demolitions expert, so. We'll defuse it. Cover it. Ready? What? And huzzah, we have what we we are going to get what we came for, the swoop accelerator. Now and our next move on the main quest line is to return to old Gadden. However, we do have some loose ends before we embark on a pretty significant story event. Series of events, we'll say. Um, oh boy. Want to do in the old save scum tactic, <laughs> and this allows me to, you know, not have to replay the scuffle we just had. Behind this door lies terrible, terrible things. This thing. I still have performance enhancing drugs on, so I need to act quickly. Um. Huh? Sure. Yeah, let's. Interesting pathfinding. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I know I'm standing right there, but all the ion grenades we have left, which are five of them, we're gonna start hucking them. Well, it was only a matter of time before that happened. Now, I should have resistance to cold. 
Oh, this it works. It, oh, well. I on grenades, everybody. That's how you beat this dude easily. I on grenades. I have died. I've had full party wipes to that thing. What? So, you know, gotcha. can't complain. Simple. Hive plasma grenades, super performance enhancing drugs. Money. Look at that money. And computer spikes, obviously. <laughs> well, that guy was kind of a pushover. I'm not complaining, but, you know. And now we can leave. And I said I was going to activate you to help in my fight against that thing over there, but really didn't need it. And Cart's got to level up. But we're going to save that for a rainy day. Or if I need to, you know... Still two minutes at the end of an episode. Because why not? Where's the front door? I would like to go out the front door. She's that direction to the south. Well, this is an unopened door. Just to cut through it seems. I'm assuming we also opened this. We did. Hurts to be thorough. Leave. Front door is, yep, right here. Saves us from having to go back through the sewers. Neat. All right. Now, what we need to do before we go off into the Hidden Beck base are a couple of things. Um, and I probably should have planned it out before... Um, Hitting the record button. I do want to take care of Dia's bounty and Largo's bounty. Definitely take care of those two. <clears throat> I'm going to save Bendak's bounty for one of the last things we're going to do on this planet. Rat Ghoul Serum, I definitely want to wrap that up. So a couple of bounties and the Rat Ghoul Serum are on the agenda. Um, so we need to go to the Lower City Cantina, I believe. Um, actually, I think we need to return. Uh, we need to go back to the hideout, actually. So let's do that. Turn to the hideout. Fast travel system. Very convenient. We could sell things if we wanted to, but we're, we don't need to do that right now. There will come a time, though. Time. Of course, I don't think people are going to be very happy that Mission is going to be running around the upper city. Because this planet is extremely xenophobic. Extremely xenophobic. Um, need to go to the clinic. Oh, I should have... Largo's not in the in my apartment building. Think, right? Maybe I should go back and talk to Dia. I got a little hasty. We're wasting time, everyone. That's okay. Putting screens aren't that long. Uh, Dia's apartment. So that is what we seek. All right, Dia. I have improved my. You again. Why do you keep bothering me? Because I want to help you? I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. Well, I, I want to help you with that thing. What's going on in the outside world anymore? Yeah, who's Holden? You're just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was ah. a nasty scar from my vibroblade. I see. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I know there's a bounty on you, and I'm not collecting it, so... Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. Thank you. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. Oh. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I see. 
I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Uh, yeah, I'll speak to him. Try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. Oh, we've already gotten acquainted. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Yeah, people get in power and, uh, let's just say they abuse it. All right. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. I walked in the room and she's like, why are you back? And then it's, well, I hope you can save my skin. Awfully nice of her. You do need to return to the lower city at some point. Uh, Largo is not... We not explore this room. Ready? On it. It's open. What? What? We not explore this room. We didn't. Hey, buddy. You're a Thorian. Don't mind me. It's for a good cause. I'm also not as thorough as I once thought. I believe Largo is in the other set of apartments, so we need to go talk to him. I believe we can pay off his debt for him. We did come across 2,000, was it 2,000 or 3,000? 2,000 credits? Yeah, 2,000 credits for, uh, you know, doing some exploring. No. believe we can help him out. I think it's 500 to say, or to pay him off, or help him pay his debt off. Oh, the clinic, that's right. The clinic. Zelka, you wouldn't believe what I have for you. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? Yes. I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Well, you should be able to help people with the rat ghoul disease now. You have the serum? Yep. Impossible. How did you get this? No, wait. I don't really want to know. Can Smart. I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough <laughs> for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Here you go. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Eh. Eh, two med packs and a little bit of cash. Keep it. Give me some more light side you points, please. Have a noble and generous spirit. Nah, I just want light side points, pal. Something for your effort. I tell you what, I'll give you a discount whenever you shop at my store. I... The least I can do. I like that. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? So technically, it would those med packs and uh, those credits would pay for themselves, really. Actually, I I get the best of both worlds: save money and get some light side points. Um. I am quite busy maintaining the facility. Questions. Can you heal me? Goodbye and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Most definitely do. Ooh, light side points and experience points for wrapping up a quest. Welcome to my medical facility. I even have a cure for the rat ghoul disease now, thanks to you. With the sample you've brought me, I've been able to extract hundreds of vials that will cure this horrible affliction. Of course, I sell them at a very reasonable price. Just enough to cover the cost of processing the sample. Zelka's a good dude. I could use some healing. Take me a moment. I didn't actually know if I needed healing, but I wanted to make sure. I even have a cure for the. Um, I want to see uh, kind of discount you're giving me. Uh, I think they were forty-four to begin with, so he's giving me like twenty percent, I believe, twenty percent off. Advanced med packs are looking pretty spicy right now for a little over 300 credits. Pretty spicy. I'll take them off your hands, bud. That rat ghost serum. Um. Eh. I mean, nice to have, but not necessary. All right, so let's head to you. Blow it. Oh, if you'd brought that shut up, Gurney. Zaxi would have made it worth your while. But no, you had to go and do the honorable thing. Then it doesn't seem to be 
doesn't seem to have a, a ton in the way of honor, so I wanted to uh, help it out. Don't want to fall in with the sheep and be extremely selfish and xenophobic. What in the world is going on over here where I need to go? Speaking of xenophobia. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak. You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Jeez. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Oh, if only people in the real world um, yeah, could understand the statement. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Poor guy. Uh, Hank, here, I have a med pack. Uh, give me some light side points. Well, I mean, I've got two aliens in my own on my own team, so I mean, and they're pretty cool too. So, his life mate. Yes, give me the light side points. We're a good person. We're a good person? I'm a good person. We're a good team. Full of good people. For now. Largo. Sarna. Oh yeah, those the, that's the Sith, right? Just so happens that Largo happens to be right close by. Hey bud, I have money for you. What, what do you want now? You're not going to tell Davik's bounty hunters where I'm hiding, are you? Relax. I want to help you with your problem. I don't think anyone can help me. I, I can. Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But 200 later, credits is chump hiding. change. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits, I'm a dead man. Yeah, give me some more light side points. We seem to be on a roll with those here lately. To a stranger just to help got 2300 pal I don't believe it well, uh, thank you wow that sure was generous of you I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on now I can pay off Davik Barth well, like how the music cut off as well the ambience oh, I better go give this to Davik right away experience points light side points like I said what a good person and yeah, I am tooting my own horn a little bit here. Alrighty. Now those two... Alright, we need to head to the lower city. We need to go to the lower city cantina. Javier's cantina. Javier's cantina. Uh, lower city is that direction. Very nice. So now we get to make a very long and boring run. Oh, Karth. Why? Okay. Alrighty. That's fair enough. We just, we have just enough time to have this talk and then end the episode. Yes, what's on your mind? Yeah, I want to continue our discussion about how paranoid you are. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, <laughs> yeah, but I'm bored. Well, I'm not exactly bored, even though this run we're on is boring. You do owe me an explanation, though. I suppose you're right. Fine, then. But I, I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saul. They did kill all those Jews in the Bible, so. Were they Jews? Or were they Christians at that point? I don't remember. 
Uh, name sounds familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. And I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Um, yeah, how could you not seen through it? I mean, that's pretty nearsighted of you, I would say. I didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? It's always my a good point. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at the worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. Dude, that's, it's not your fault that... I mean, yeah, you should have been suspicious that he was going to defect, but... Bro. You blame yourself? Yeah. I blame Saul, not myself. I was, I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. I do. I do. I do, and I don't. I do the same thing. I, 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 I do kind of feel bad the way things... Like, I mean, yeah. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Oh, yeah, well... More to the story is the reason I feel awful. Um, anyway, let's continue on, shall we? Actually, I'm going to end the episode off here, and when we come back, I will already be in Javiar's Cantina, so you will rejoin me in the lovely Lower City. So until then, I wish you all the best.